Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. Today I'm going to show you how you can create and sell iPhone covers on Etsy with Printful. If you are new to Printful, Printful is a print-on-demand company where you can upload your designs and have them printed on various products. You can sell on Etsy using Printful. Before we get started with this tutorial, you will want to make sure that you have your Printful account set up, which is free. I will leave a link in the description where you can get started with Printful. And then you'll also want to set up your Etsy account. Printful has put together a helpful resource showing you how to uh, connect Etsy and Printful together. And I will leave a link to that video in the description below. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a design for an iPhone case and then list it in your Etsy shop. To get started, you'll want to navigate to Printful and select the iPhone case. And then you'll want to uh, scroll down and then here you can download the uh, print file template for the iPhone case. Here I have the file opened up in Photoshop and what you'll notice is there is a folder here and then there are guides for the various sizes of the iPhones. And then you can just toggle on the various um, ones here depending on the different sizes if you need to adjust your design for the various sizes here. So uh, let's go ahead and just turn on this top one here. For this tutorial, I'm gonna create a listing of different Christmas iPhone case covers. Before we begin, I want to uh, introduce you to uh, Creative Fabrica, which is a online resource where you can find print-on-demand assets that you can use to uh, sell. When you go to search on Creative Fabrica and you want to find um, assets that you can use with print on demand, just go ahead and scroll down and make sure you have print on demand selected here under the special license. So uh, the asset that I'm going to use today is this 10 seamless Christmas patterns. Uh, when you click on the listing, uh, what you'll want to look for is you want to make sure you have, uh, it has commercial and for all print on demand usage as allowed. And then uh, so then you can click through and see the full uh, description of the various licenses. I will leave a link in the description uh, to this digital asset um, if you'd like to uh, download it for yourself from Creative Fabrica. Uh, currently I am looking at the subscription license here uh, for Creative Fabrica and you can read through it uh, more fully but we're going to look at the Okay, we are looking at the uh, full print-on-demand usage rights here, and here's a list of things that you can do. It says that you can create and upload designs to uh, print-on-demand sites that are the same or similar to the original. Uh, so that means you can, as long as it has the uh, full print-on-demand usage, that you can use the asset as is. And um, under here, I'll want to point out here that to keep selling the full print on demand license uh, without modification, that you need to um, keep your subscription. If you ever cancel your full uh, subscription with Creative Fabrica, then you could no longer uh, sell that product that you are using as full print on demand without making any um, adjustments to the design. If you're selling it as is, you'll need to be active with the uh, full subscription in order to sell it as is. Jumping back into Photoshop here. So I've already loaded some of the um, patterns, Christmas patterns into Photoshop and I've made them as uh, patterns inside. So let's go ahead and create a pattern layer here. And then I'll just click OK and then we'll select uh, one of our patterns here. And to uh, scale it down, I'm going to double click here and then let's just go ahead and scale it down. Once you find a size that you are happy with, I'm just going to uh, reposition it here to see um, what I like here. And then we'll go ahead and set it there and just click on OK. And then just turning on this, um, we'll bring it down here. Uh, turning on the guide here and then this will just show you um, the area that will be printed and how it will look on the various uh, phones here and we can uh, move it down to the bottom here uh, where to uh, place the artwork 
That way you can turn on and off the uh, various layers uh, to see how they'll look with your design here. So uh, once you have it positioned, so I'm going to do uh, the same thing. So let's go ahead and duplicate this layer, um, Command J, and then we are going to select a new pattern here. And then I can click on it just to kind of position it how I want it here. Clicking on OK. And then of course you can check it out with the various sizes here. Um, and then we're gonna do a couple more. So I'll duplicate this, Command or Control J. We'll select a new element here. And then we'll do it again, Command or Control J. We'll select the next one. And then finally one more, Command or Control J. Final pattern here. And I'm just gonna try out a couple of different patterns here. Okay. Uh, once you have it positioned where you want, you're, you're gonna go ahead and export it. So we're gonna go to File, Export, Export As. And then I'm just going to uh, export it as JPEG here, and then we'll bring it to higher quality. And then I'll just click on Embed Color Profile and then just click to export. Uh, select your folder and then just go ahead and save. And then you're just gonna do the same for each one of these here. Now that I've saved all of the uh, patterns out, we are gonna jump back over into Printful Dashboard. From the Printful dashboard, you'll want to go ahead and click on Product Templates, and then, and then you'll want to select to create a product, and then we will search for iPhone case. Go ahead and click on the iPhone case here, and then here it says you can select the various models here, and then we will choose our file. Click to upload. And then you can select all your files there and then just click to open. After just finished uploading, you can click to uh, place your graphic here. Here we can see uh, the design on the screen in the mock-up. And then when you scroll down, you can see how it will look on the various uh, iPhones here of different sizes. Okay. And then just go ahead and click on continue. And then we will give this uh, title here, call it Christmas plaid iPhone case, and then just click to save product template. And then we are going to go ahead and click to duplicate this template. So we'll go ahead, duplicate, and then we'll go ahead and edit this one, edit product template. And then under design here, we are going to choose one of our other files here. We'll go ahead and place the screen one. And then uh, you can delete uh, this one here and then you can just check to see how it looks there. And then we'll go ahead and continue. And then we'll change this to uh, green snowflakes. And then we'll get rid of the copy here and then click save product template. And then we'll continue to do this for other designs. So go ahead and duplicate. We'll edit our product template. Clicking on design here, let's choose our next file. Okay, and then we can delete this one here. And now that I have this design in here, I don't love how this white one repeats. So let's go ahead and choose another one. So we'll choose uh, this next one here. Okay, and then we'll delete this one here, and I can always go back and uh, adjust that file here, um, but I'm not going to do that at this moment. So we like how this one looks, so we'll go ahead and click on continue, and then we'll change this uh, green, red, white polka dots, and then just save product template. And then we'll just duplicate this, go ahead and edit it. And then we have one more image. We'll go to our design, choose our file, scrolling down, and then we'll place our last one and see how it looks. Okay, and then we will just delete this one here and then we will continue. And then we'll just go at Christmas berries, getting rid of copy here. 
and then save product template here. Okay, so we have three variations of our iPhone cover. We will go ahead and hover over one of these and click to add it to our store. And then we see that we have our models here selected and then we are going to uh, proceed to mockups. And then you can click on what you want your main mockup image to be. We'll select the uh, case with the phone here and then we'll go ahead and proceed to details. And then let's give this uh, product um, a title, Christmas iPhone case. And then you can add a description. Let's just go find a Christmas iPhone case cover. And then uh, you can add more details to that. And then we'll just look at our tags here. Here you can add your ta tags, iPhone case, Christmas iPhone case, Christmas iPhone cover, Christmas pattern, Christmas iPhone phone cover. And then with your tags, you'll want to add a, all of the tags that you can here. And then here, product section, if you have a section, and you can click here. And then um, here you can see the shipping costs uh, for the various regions. And then uh, you do have the option uh, to display your product with free shipping. I'm going to leave that unchecked for now. And then we'll go to uh, proceed to pricing. Under pricing, we see a uh, printful's uh, base cost here, and then this is kind of the suggested uh, retail price. You can uh, choose to uh, modify your profit margin here, and then it will be reflected. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave it with the suggested retail price here, and then we'll click to uh, submit it to the store. Next, you want to uh, come into your Etsy shop manager. Under listing, you will see you want to click on draft here and then Printful has already automatically synced with Etsy and then you see this listing as a draft here. So let's go ahead and click to um, edit our listing here. Printful automatically pulled in the various uh, listing covers here. And then uh, scrolling down, you can change the uh, title of your um, listing here and then under about this listing you want to switch i did to another company or, or person because we are using printful as our production partner and then if you can select a primary color in this case we're going to use a couple variations under etsy you can uh, select a pattern type um, you also have the option to select a theme and then there are these other options which you can uh, select here. Here we are going to select holiday, Christmas, and then we can change our renewal options to be automatic if you'd like. And then you can uh, change your description here. And then we are going to uh, select Printful as our uh, print-on-demand provider production partner. And then uh, scrolling down here, we have our variations here for uh, the different options. And then we are going to go to edit variations here. As we can see, the variations for the different iPhone sizes is already filled out here. And then now we are going to uh, add another variation. We're gonna choose variation type. Uh, scrolling down here, we are going to click on create a new variation. We are going to uh, give it a name. We'll title it Design and click Add. Okay, and then we are going to add in an option here. So we have the four design styles. We have one, we will list our plaid, red plaid. Two, we will list our green snowflakes. Three, we will list berries. And then four is our polka dots. And then click to add it there. And then we will update. So now we have um, our another variation here. 
So under shipping here, it says we are missing info for the standard domestic delivery time. We'll go ahead and edit this here. So under the uh, Printful Help Center, it says how do, how do I set up estimated delivery date details for my Etsy store. So scrolling down here. And so uh, Printful has provided an estimated delivery time uh, table here for the various uh, locations. So after the United States, we have three to six business days. So we'll go ahead and select three to six here. And then you can add it to the other areas as well. And then just click to uh, save profile here. And then we are gonna go ahead and save this as a draft. Jumping back into the Printful dashboard, let's go ahead and click on stores. And then I'll click to uh, view my store here. When you scroll down, it will show that it is synced. Uh, but before we do that, we want to refresh the data. Um, after it has been refreshed, scrolling down, we see that there are 60 things that are not synced. So we need to go ahead and edit there. So when you create variations and you have different designs and different iPhone sizes, you now need to uh, go select it for each of the different designs and for the various sizes. So right now we are looking at iPhone 11 and our red plaid. So let's go ahead and choose our product. We will look at my product templates. So we'll jump to the end of our list here. We have our Christmas plaid here. And then it has iPhone 11 automatically selected for you here and then just click continue. And then uh, when you click down here, you'll see that it's size iPhone 11 and then it has our uh, Christmas uh, red plaid here. So you'll need to uh, do that for each of the different listings. So let's go ahead and do it again for our green snowflake. So we'll choose our product. We'll go to our product templates. We'll jump to the end of the list here. And then this time we are looking for our Christmas snowflakes. Okay, and it's got the right size selected. We'll click continue. And then as you can see, it we have it listed here with the correct design. So, so this is one of the tedious processes when it comes to doing variations is now you now have to uh, go select the right uh, pattern and design for each of the different sizes. So once you have added all the different variations for the iPhone sizes and the different pattern variations, and then I'm gonna jump back over into product templates. And then uh, for each of these products, I'm going to uh, download mockups. Uh, you can click from one of the lifestyle mockups. So let's just click the holiday season mockup here as well. And then we will click to uh, generate mockup, we want the PNG version. Once it has been generated, go ahead and click to download the mockup, and then just click to save it. And then you'll want to do that for each of the different products. We'll go ahead and do that for our green snowflakes. We will download our mockups. Uh, what I'm noticing is that the default mockup is bringing up the berries and not necessarily our green snowflakes. Um, but don't worry, the one that you download will be your um, different file type. It's just not updating the mockup image here, um, but it is the one that we want. So we'll generate mockup here and then click to download. And then uh, when I click to unzip the green snowflakes, I do see the green snowflake mockup. So even though it didn't show me it here, it is correctly downloading the right mockup. After you have downloaded your mockups, let's go ahead and jump back into our Etsy shop here. And then I'm just going to uh, refresh our listing. And then we'll just click into edit. And then our variations, we have all of our options here. And I'm just gonna make a note of these numbers for one for red plaid, two for green snowflake, three for berries, and four for our polka dots. Next, we need to create some new Etsy images for our various designs. So we'll jump in to Canva. 
I'm going to add clay to create a design. We'll do a custom size here. I'm going to use the dimensions of uh, 2,545 by 2020 for our Etsy listing cover. So let's go ahead and upload our uh, images here. Now that I've uploaded the different designs here, we are going to create our Etsy listing here. So we'll go ahead and bring in our uh, plaid image here. Can make it smaller there. And then we'll bring in our green snowflake. And then we have our berries. A little bit smaller. And then finally we have our polka dot one here. Size it with the rest of them. Move those over. I just noticed that I did not have the same image for all of them, so I just re-uploaded it, and now we have the uh, coordinating image here to match the rest of them. We'll size it up again. Okay. And then we'll just bring these to the center. And then let's uh, get some text here. We'll go uh, Christmas, iPhone, okay. Let's make that bigger. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add a rectangle here. And then we'll change out our font here. Let's try. Let's go with Anton. And then let's change the color to white. And then uh, let's find, let's make this a little bit of a gray. Okay, and then let's find a background. Uh, let's look for an image. Gray, wood grain. And let's see how that looks as the background. Too dark. Okay, and then let's find some images. Let's just go a Christmas. Okay, let's go ahead and add a page here, and then we are going to, um, let's duplicate these, copy it there, um, Command C, and then we'll just paste it here. And then we'll add a number, so we'll do text, just a number one here. So we have our red plaid is number one. And then we will duplicate that. We'll make this number two. Duplicate that. We'll make this number three. Command or control D to duplicate to make number four for our different selection. So this just gives us our um, different options here. So then we will go ahead and download these. We'll leave it as PNG, and then we are just going to click download. Uh, before uploading your file to Etsy, I recommend uh, changing the file name. So we'll give this a file name. So we'll go uh, Christmas iPhone case, Christmas plaid iPhone case, um, just different uh, keywords that you, someone might search for. Um, it's a good idea just to, to put them in your Etsy listing images as well.
So jumping back into our listing here, we'll go back up to the top and then let's go ahead and we'll delete some of these images here. Okay, and then we'll add our photos and then we'll move this one to the front to be our primary. And then you can add additional photos there, um, but we'll just leave it at that for now. And then once you have everything set where you have all your um, everything synced with Printful, then just uh, scroll down and then you can click to uh, publish. Uh, whenever you publish to Etsy, there is a 20 cents fee for each listing. Click to publish. And then you can click to see your active listing. And then uh, you will see them here. And then under size, you'll be able to select the uh, phone option there. And then from there, you can select your different design. And then once you do that, you can add it to your cart. And then your um, customer will automatically get their order fulfilled by Printful. Thank you for watching this video on how to uh, create and sell iPhone cases on Etsy using Printful. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to uh, create designs in Photoshop and selling your art with print on demand. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.